Welcome class to a workshop on Coach Joe rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe rule number 37, which states, Boolean parameters should not be passed to methods. Not the keywords true or false, not a variable with a Boolean data type. It turns out that it's an indication of poorly designed code or a code smell. In most cases, it makes the code hard to read, hard to maintain, and restricts reusability. Look at this example from a baseball application. What is the purpose of the true parameter? Unless you're familiar with this application, you'll be forced to inspect the contents of this method. Insight is a decision that has a true and a false code block. This method appears to be doing two things, one for the true condition and another for the false condition. Using a name variable helps with readability, but still, the method is doing two things. A better solution is to create separate methods for each condition. The initial calling method already knows the Boolean state. There's no need to pass it to another method. Just perform the decision point process here and call the appropriate method. This is nearly the same code, but will make the code easier to read, easier to maintain, and more reusable. Another solution idea is, don't create methods that accept a Boolean parameter in the first place. This will help other developers design cleaner code. Methods can have an object parameter that contains a Boolean property. Passing the whole object is fine. Passing a single Boolean property is not. There are limited situations when a Boolean parameter is acceptable. Third-party code can allow a Boolean parameter like with consult logging and assert statements. Other methods may be questionable, but you will need to honor their method signature. Constructors and setter methods could have a Boolean parameter, but there are better design options to consider, especially if the code is under your control. Creating an overloaded constructor is one way to prevent passing Boolean values. A well-named setter method could perform a Boolean action without the need for a parameter. Another consideration is the builder pattern. Initial default values are set when the new object is created. Here, is sleeping is set to false. When building, call the with is sleeping method to set the property to true. This will prevent Boolean parameters from being passed. Although Boolean parameters are allowed, I challenge you to avoid their use with a better design solution. Leave a comment below with a solution approach you took to avoid passing a Boolean parameter. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!